My name is Ann Wilson, and I lost both my son at age 20 and my husband at age 50 to gun violence. There are no words to express really how I feel on Mother's Day. It's just uh, an empty spot in my heart, although I have three children and seven grandchildren and four great-grandchildren, there's still an empty spot for Daniel every Mother's Day. We had spent the evening together. I fixed his favorite dinner and uh, we were talking about things. It was interesting because the things we talked about were just, they gave you an eerie feeling. I mean, he was talking about a job. His friends were on the porch. His friends gave him an application to Pepco and they said they were going to get him in and he was excited about that. And then right around 11.30, he said, Ma, I got to run out. And uh, that's the last I saw of him. And probably about 30 minutes later, some of his friends called and said that he'd been shot. And uh, I don't know whether I went straight to the police station or what. They did not want me to go to the scene. And the police station was like a block away from where he was laying in the street with other people looking at him. And so that's the one thing that I think hurts the most is that other people were able to see him as he took his last breath. Uh, well, I thought the worst thing that could ever happen to me had already happened, but then uh, one Sunday morning I woke up and of course having had this experience with Daniel to see a detective show his badge at the front door was just I knew something bad. I knew it was something bad. And when he asked me, uh, was this a James Wilson resident? The first thing I thought was my son, because my older son is James. And uh, when they told me it was my husband, it was just no way. You could have, just no way. I was cooking breakfast. I had talked to him that night. He uh, had a boat. He loved the water, and he had gone out on the boat. And I uh, guess I talked to him about 10.30 when they were headed out. And uh, at 4.44 a.m., he was shot, I think, like 14 times. Uh, one bullet wasn't enough. It's eerie that both of them were giving somebody a ride and were killed in their vehicle. And so it took me a long time to drive again. I was didn't even want to get in a car because I was having panic attacks about the car. You know, when you get in the car, you're not coming back. My heart is broken, and I would like not to see another mother's heart broken as mine has been. And the only way we're going to change the situation that we're finding ourselves in is that if each and every one of us bands together, joins together, march together, speak together, and make the changes that are going to be necessary to prevent these senseless, violent acts of gun violence from happening over and over again. It is time. <music>